In today's video, I tell you how to measure your body fat with no body fat measuring equipment. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. Thank you for tuning in the video. Today we're going to talk about how to measure your body fat and the question came from my Instagram direct message. So if you're interested in learning about nutrition and training to meet your goals, click that subscribe button, go to my Instagram, which is on the screen here and send me a direct message and I'd love to answer your question. So today's question is exactly that. How do I measure my body fat without any special equipment? Now we all know the equipment that I'm talking about, either the skin fold calipers, heck, even a measuring tape. I'm gonna explain how you can estimate your body fat without having any of that equipment. Now before we discuss exactly how to do that, let's talk about what our body fat percentage is. Well, it's basically the percentage of our body that is pure body fat. Okay, so we all know that the more body fat you have, and typically it's gonna be less and less healthy. You know, when we get to that 30% body fat and over, that's when we get into those unhealthy ranges. So if you're worried about that, we can measure it and figure that out. So first, let's talk about it. I'm gonna put a link in the description box. It's a very basic body fat calculator. I wanna keep it simple, okay? So this body fat calculator is only gonna ask us for a couple measurements. For the men, it's going to ask us for our waist measurement and our neck measurement. For the women, it's going to ask us for the waist, the hip, and the neck measurement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our height, we're gonna plug in our weight, so you will need to get on a scale and find out your weight. If you don't know your height, well, you're gonna to have to figure that out as well, but there's an easy way to do that as well because all you really need is this. This is your standard run-of-the-mill tape measure. If you've got this, you can figure everything out. Now, if you don't know how tall you are, you go stand against the wall, Stand tall, put a book on the top of your head, make sure it's, par it's parallel to the ground, and mark on the wall, and then use the measuring tape to figure out how tall you are, okay? Now what we're gonna do to measure without using measuring tape or calipers to measure our waist, that can be a little bit more difficult, but what I'm gonna show you here is, all you simply do is take this easy household item. That's right, a belt, we all have belts. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the belt, put it around our waist, and we're gonna mark on the belt where the ends meet, okay? So you go around, you mark where the ends meet, then you're gonna lay it flat, pull out your measuring tape, measure it, that's your measurement. Now, make sure no one's coming in the room when you do this, because this could look questionable. Put this around your neck, again, mark it, so you know the distance and measure that. That gives you the, me the neck measurement now for women. You wanna do the same thing for the hips. Now, where do we measure the waist? That's another common question I get. When it comes to measuring the waist, it can be a little bit difficult to get an accurate reading every week, especially when you're losing body fat. So the one thing I wanna mention is make sure you pick a spot. Now, I would typically say go right over the belly button or the navel because that way it's consistent because your belly button's not gonna move on you. But your lower back, your sides, that will all change. So if you try to find the smallest place, that might change. But if you put it over the belly button, pull it tight and keep it straight across the front and the back, you're gonna get a pretty accurate measurement. So that's what I would suggest for measuring the belly. All right, guys? So take that, plug that into the information below. It's gonna give you a nice estimate. That was easy. We didn't have to use any special equipment, no calipers. Now there are other body fat tests out there like the DEXA scan, even ultrasounds, uh, hydrostatic weighing. These are all fine. Just understand that there is no 100% true, accurate way to measure body fat except one. And that is when you're dead, they slice you open, take all your fat and put it on a scale. Okay guys, so just understand that these are estimates and whatever your goal, whatever the reason that you're getting your body fat measured, just use that as a baseline, use the same measure and you'll be able to tell if there has been a change, okay? For those of you looking to get body fat shredded for stage, just understand they never ask you what your body fat is. So you just need to diet down until you have the desired look. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.